Everybody wants to know, what was Jeff Gordon thinking? And we might not have Jeff Gordon here, but we may have the next best thing. Welcome into the Sporting News Studios. I'm Tom Vandervoort, and joining me now on the phone, my good friend and former Sprint Cup driver, Rick Mast. Now, Rick, a lot of people don't understand what was going on out there between Jeff Gordon and Clint Boyer. So just very briefly, what was Jeff Gordon thinking when he decided to wreck Mr. Boyer out there? You know, I mean, I totally understood what Jeff what was going on. I mean, it wasn't all about what happened right then. It's about what happened leading up to that. I mean, if you'll notice, if you look back, you never heard Jeff Gordon spouting off about taking care of, or, or, or Clint Boyer picking on him or roughing him up or any of that, you know. And that's kind of the way it used to be done. If somebody messed with you, you didn't really go out to the press and the media and everybody talking about it. You just kept it to yourself. And when the appropriate time came, you would, you would deal with the situation, you know. And, and, and it was a very appropriate time for, for Jeff because, as I used to tell you years ago, Bass, when you, when you, have, when you retaliate in cup racing, you do it where it counts. If you're in the, uh, the, the chase deal and somebody takes you out for stuff that you've been doing earlier in the year, you guess what? I remember that. So do you think this, this feud is likely to carry on into next week or next season, or do you think it's settled, or is there any way to really tell that right now? That's, that's totally in Clint Boyer's camp now. You know, I mean, I, I know Jeff Gordon well. I, I'm not going to what he did, I, but I do 100% completely understand what he did. You know, and you've been around as long as that guy has, and pretty respectful driver. And, and, and you know, if you, if you take and take and take from a driver, you know, Unless you're a good driver, it's going to get taken back to you, and that's what Jeff Jeff did. As far as Gordon's concerned, his payback's over. He, picking on him and messing with him and wrecking him, whatever all's been going on to, to make Gordon do what he did. You know, it's in, in in Gordon's mind, he's paid him back for messing with him. You know, in Gordon's mind, they're equal on equal terms now. Now, if Boyer doesn't believe that or think that, if he wants to carry it further, then that's when things get touchy, okay? And But I, if... If I was Boyer, I'd let it go and be done with it and, and, and try to race him cleanly the next time. Now, have you ever been involved in this kind of thing, and how did it evolve for you? Most of the time it happens early on. When you move up a division, when you start out Saturday night bull rings locally, you know, and each time you move up the division, there's a whole new group of drivers you've got to, you, you've got to race against, and that whole new group of drivers has to learn your style, and, and there's always one or two that will test you. You know, and you have to stand your ground. You have to look after yourself and take care of the, take care of yourself. As I've said many times, it's like a, it's like a dog or an animal marking his territory. You know, you have your territory. Don't come in my territory messing with it, or something will happen to you. And if you do that, if you set those precedents early on, which is the way we did it, I did it, and a lot of folks did it. You set that precedent early on, then it, and it kind of carries through. Yeah, I have been involved in a few of those, but it's always short lived. You know, and for the most part, by the time I got to the next stepping stone of the series, you know, the guys up there already knew who I was and kind of raced against you a little bit and knew, knew the take on you. But still, somebody would come along and try to mess up and get in your territory again. And when that happens, you just had to take care of it. Now, one more question, and I'll, I'll let you go. One thing you've said to me in the past is, you, ideally, you take care of it right then. When a guy has crossed the line, you take care of it right then. You don't let it linger. Is that what's happened in this case, where when once Gordon decided that was too much from Clint Boyer, he just decided to take care of it right then? Yeah, it, it, you got to understand race car drivers. I mean, we're, we're, they, we, whatever, we're wired different, Bass. I'm not sure what it is, and especially the good ones. The good ones are just wired different. And, and I've said many times, I've heard you say it, you know, you have elephant memories. You never forget these things. That deal with Gordon. You know, however many times that, that, that he felt that Boyer had wronged him this year, and I don't know how many, he said five. I don't know what that number is. But I can assure you, any Jeff Gordon fan or Clint Boyer fan listening today, that that, that was the case. Jeff Gordon's not going to take Clint Boyer out just for what happened at Martinsville and at Phoenix. There was more to it than that. Some other things went on. And, you know, it was just a culmination of events. All these things happened, so we'll get to Phoenix – and Boyer, Boyer's the one that's got everything to lose. That's the thing about the championship race. I, I always tell you, when it comes down to the last couple of races, don't mess with the championship guys. You know, we're always told that. But by the same token, the championship guys, especially Earnhardt, we had this discussion too. Earnhardt knew 
knew if he had somebody that he felt like maybe was going to take a shot at him sometime, he knew to make sure he stayed clear of that guy, give him plenty of room, because he didn't want it, that guy taking retaliating on a on a on a points deal. You know, at the end of the race, that's the point I think Clint maybe missed out a little bit. He had to know that he'd been rubbing Gordon the wrong way. And he had to know, you know, this is a championship deal coming down, three races, two races to go. You know, that guy there, I, I need to give Jeff Gordon plenty of room because I've kind of taken from him too much this year, and I don't need to, I don't need him to retaliate. Well, guess what? He didn't do that, you know, and Gordon retaliated. So, you know, it, it, like I told you many times, Bass, you try to do this thing. If you're going to retaliate, you do it. You do it right then. You do it when it counts, you know, because most of the time, if you wait, you know, then it's it's more premeditated. This is more of a reaction instead of an action. I I know the people are saying, you know, because in the championship, it, the chase, you know, you're taking a man out of the chase. Well, guess what? When you go to retaliate, that's what you do. You take it when, when it counts the most. So, you know, everybody has to understand what really went on there. Absolutely. All right, Rick. That's a great explanation, man. I totally appreciate your time today. No, no problem, Bass.